Right, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how to use this satire camera. It's not very difficult, it is plug and play, but there are a few things you just need to know. Okay, on here, little movable screen, you got your little cursors up, down, left, and right. On button, a couple of other little buttons on here that we'll talk about. On here, you've got a trigger which can be configured to actually shoot um, an infrared beam towards your particular target or it can be configured like we have to be able to take the picture and then you've got your lens cap we'll just take off to focus just turn that round as you would do with normal cameras so let's get this back on here right I need to go and do a thermal camera I need to go and do a thermal survey so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one thermal picture and I'm going to take one JPEG so when I put it into the software, I can bring up the JPEG, bring up the thermal picture, sorry, and then bring up the associated JPEG. You need a pen, piece of paper, and you need to be able to be pretty descriptive. So what we're going to do is going to first of all take a thermal picture. So come to the middle button, press the middle button, come up with your display. What you need to do is you need to change this picture over to a thermal image. Scroll down to IR Visual, click over to the right, and then where it says visual only, keep clicking to the right. You've got a dual mode there, but I don't particularly like that. Click over again, you've got yourself your IR. To go back to the screen by itself, click on to see. Press it once, it goes back. Press it again, clear screen. Go over, find the item you're wanting to play with. Focus it if you will. Now what is important that on the screen you will see a number. You need to jot that number down, that is important. So look at what you're needing. Focus it correctly, take your picture, you can see there's a number that pops up. Jot that number down. Jot that number down and write down the description of the item that you've just taken a picture of. Once you've got one thermal picture, go over to your middle button, click it, scroll down, scroll to the right, and keep scrolling to the right until you find your visual only. Go back over and press the C button, goes back one, goes back one again, go over to the item you were looking at before, take the shot, write the number down. This one's a CCD, which is just a basic di digital image. So there you've got it. That is how you work this camera. There are other little features that you can use with this camera, but it's pretty straightforward. If you're doing a thermal survey, take one thermal picture at a time, take one digital picture at a time. That way, when you put it into the software and you bring up your digital image, your thermal image, sorry, and you right click and, and insert the associated digital image, it's pretty easy. If you've got one thermal image and 20 digital images of the same picture, it gets confusing. Don't complicate what is, in essence, an easy process. So, straightforward, this is your menu button. Loads of little things it can do. Scroll down to your visuals. Look at the, scroll to the right. Select dual, visual only, digital. If you want to go back to the main menu, just keep pressing your C. Once you've found what you want, put your trigger on, aim your camera, take the picture, write that number down in its entirety, and then also write where the location is of the pair of the item that you've just taken a photograph of, the description of the location, and the designation, if it's a distribution board, DB1, etc., etc., located within the main stores, the actual picture you're taking, the, the actual item or description of the item that you're taking a picture of could be the main switch, it could be the MCB, it could be the buzz bar chamber, it could be many different things. If you're pretty descriptive, it makes your report a little bit better. That's the basic operation of this satire camera. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye-bye.